I will teach you how to make this with your drone. Now, this is just a quick illustration of how I took the shot with my drone. And let's say there's a target point right there. What I did was I took a total of seven images and each one with elevation and horizontal movement increment. And eventually you want to arrive right above the target point and face the camera directly down. And that's it, easy as pie. And here's our all the images that I took. And now let's dive into Photoshop and get to the fun stuff. First, create a new file using the following settings. In this case, I'm using 25 inch width and 25 inch height. I want to make it, make it slightly bigger so there's more room for me to maneuver around each images as I'm aligning them. Now I'm going to open the first image and drag it all the way down to the bottom then open the second image, roughly align it over the first, just right above it. To make the alignment easier, reduce the front layer opacity to make it more transparent. When it comes to alignment, zoom in and look for a straight line where it intersects with the first image. And that's where the first and second image will uh, connect together. Now the alignment looks good, let's proceed to the primary warp. By hitting Command T or Control T for Windows, then hold down Shift to make the top narrower and then align them again to the first image. I know this step can be quite challenging, but just to make sure the spot where the line intersects are still aligned. Next, I call it the, the secondary, secondary warp by clicking that button right there. This step is crucial because it gives you that curvy look in the overall result. Without going through this step, you won't be able to achieve the curved transition like that. But a bunch of segmented images that doesn't look as curvy and photorealistic at all. You see how beautiful the curve is? Make sure you do the secondary warp. After finished with warping, now I'm going to erase the part that I don't need by using layer mask. Use brush and color black to erase and white to unerase. In Photoshop, it is important to always use non-destructive method to edit an image. It means that I can erase an image through layer mask by using black brush and unerase any part that I messed up using white brush without altering any of the original image. Sometimes it's better to use feather brush that doesn't have any hard edges to make the connection more seamless. That's pretty much it connecting the first and second image. Now I just need to repeat what I have just done to connect the rest of the images. Now I'm processing the third image using the same step, fast forwarding. Then the fourth image. There's no def definite way to connect each image is all up to your creativity and all you have to do is to focus on aligning the rows and the line as seamless as possible it's not difficult but only takes time and a lot of patience it took me about three hours total to finish this one now i've already stitched all the images together i just want to show you all the pieces that i have in the end to make the final reconstruction as you can see, I had to split each layer down the middle and align them side by side in order to achieve the curved results. As for the pond you see at the center, that the color still looks a little bit off, I crop out the pond from one of the image and put it right over it. Same goes to the monument. After all the hardcore warping, stitching, and bringing back the center monument, the image still looks off overall. I've got some parts that are brighter and parts that are not enough contrast. I need to go into each piece and to adjust by adding adjustment layer right there to make the overall color and brightness and contrast consistent all across. And make sure you click that button to just to make sure that it only applies to the layer below it. Not all images are created equally, so there are a wide variety of ways to balance the color. Things like level, brightness, curve, and exposure are the main ones that I use. That's the end of this tutorial guys. Make sure to give the thumbs up if you learned something new from this video and hit that subscribe button for future videos.